to say about this palette since I already finished my whole face and my eyes is that I like this palette a lot better than the nude one. This one just has a bunch of purples, champagne colors, silver, and it just looks more pigmented. Um, even applying them like on my eye, it was just so easy to blend out the colors and the pigmentation was great. Even this like maroonish color right here that's all over my lid, really, really pigmented. I feel like, ooh, the nude one wasn't this pigmented at all. Like it really wasn't. Like, look at that. Pigmentation is awesome. Um, yeah, I have no complaints. They're not really chalky at all. Even when I like dip my brush in it, it just like still stuck to the pan. I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's a great palette if you like plum colors, purples, silvers, browns, I would say get this one. I'll still play around with the nude one, but if I had to choose, I would choose this one. This one's just a lot better. The pigmentation was awesome. Great. I love it. I just wish it wasn't $15 because it's just like, uh, $15 for this and the BH one is $10. BH one is $10 and this is it right here. You can even find these now at Ross. So the pigmentation on the BH is good as well. Let me just swatch this color. I use this color a lot. See, it's really good. The pigmentation is awesome. You get a lot of purples and you get like the dark colors like blacks and stuff. And you get some silvers. You get, I feel like you get more in the BH. And the... L'Oreal one, you really don't get as much. It's more simple and just, eh, but it's still doable. It just depends like what you want and what you prefer. I would still give this a 10 out of a 10 just because it's L'Oreal. It's one of their palettes. I like collecting. It did the job that I wanted it to do, but I wouldn't say you have to go get it go out and get it. So my final thoughts on this is if you like collecting palettes then I would say add this to your collection. It's a really good palette, the colors are beautiful and the pigmentation is but if you're like on a budget and you're the type who doesn't really like to collect and you just want something that's gonna get the job done and you know what I mean? You just like plain and simple that's it not really gonna collect don't really care if you know it's L'Oreal second palette that they released then just go with something like BH or even like the little quads that L'Oreal sells just go with little quads and stuff because 15 bucks is a lot of money I don't care if anyone's like it's just $15 like boo no okay yeah. Like, $15 is a lot. When I bought this one and the other one and it came to like 30 something, I was just like, oh, that's a lot of money, you know? But since I like collecting, I'm just like, it's okay because it just, I like the way it looks in like my little drawer, you know, like the L'Oreal palettes and Maybelline. I just think it looks cute. But yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts down below what you guys prefer. If you guys prefer the one or if you guys prefer the two, what your thoughts on what your thoughts are on the um, palettes and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video and I'll have swatches of this palette at the end <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time bye I was just like whoop, whoop, before I was even saying bye no more coke Alexis I stopped with the coffee but now I'm just drinking coke all the time